Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you too can be part of the pink squad. It is pink miss and there is a helicopter. So if you can hear it, I'm really sorry, but it is pink miss. And that means I am uploading a video every single day for the month of December. So if you haven't watched all the other 11 videos that are out, please make sure to check them out. Show them some love because your girl is putting in work. Also, I think I don't, the video that came out, I don't know, Monday, I don't know. But I think I showed my nails, but I didn't announce them because I was supposed to film another video and blah, 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 blah. So here are the nails. I am so happy. Um, it is a reflective red glitter. So when the light hits it, it looks different and it was so pretty. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice because I have tried, I've tried to take like a cute little video and stuff like that uh, because I don't know, I like taking a picture of all my sets so that I know what I've gotten, what I should get, blah, blah, blah. And every time I take a picture of this set, it just doesn't, it just does not look how it looks in person. So they just look like little ruby diamonds. Like, kid you not, just when you look at it, oh my gosh, it is stunning. So that is the set for Christmas. We kept it simple, but beautiful and classy. And for today's video, I know you're just gonna look at my hands. So, oh wait, we didn't put my rings on. Anyways, so for today's video, I am going to do a life after debt update. It is going to be a quick one. I like to do these just so that, I don't know, I can keep track of it. I can speak on it. It is a lot. So I used to be over $60,000 in debt that I can account for. So that means I did not account for interest that I paid. I don't account for any like medical stuff that I didn't have like uh, receipts for or that I could track, blah, blah, blah. So to be honest with you, those 60 something dollars worth of debt is more realistically closer to a hundred thousand dollars if i am being honest with you it's just hard because i can't you know find all the tangible proof and stuff like that plus adding all the interest would be insane so just know i have been a hundred thousand dollars in debt I have had all the debt you could possibly want and or desire except home debt. Uh, that is good debt. So I hope to have that debt very soon. Uh, but I have had car debt, credit card debt, medical debt, uh, what other debt, all the debt. I've had it. I used to have over 20 credit cards all maxed out. I know. I know, I know. I used to obviously have a car payment. It was a car that was a luxury, not a necessity. And uh, till this day, I still have it, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I have it so I can look at it and remember the regret that I felt when it happened. Uh, because there's not a day that goes by that I'm not like, you were a waste. You are an absolute waste. I am thankful you have gotten me from point A to point B up until this point in my life. But, but I will say it was a complete waste of money. It was absurd. And yeah, so as far as I mean medical debt, that's, that's not our fault, right? Things happen and we gotta, we gotta have them fix us. So uh, that one I am... You know, it hurts, but I'm less upset about because it it's not like I meant to get hurt. So, yeah, I have had all the debt. I will have the videos linked at the end of this video. I will do my debt confession. I will do uh, my other debt update. 
and I'm trying to think what else. I also, also would, on top of having all those financial problems, I would also not track my money. I would often have my bank account go red, which is unfortunate because that meant I had to borrow money to bring it back, even though I was still getting those charges. You know, it's like, it's a, a fee per day at my bank. So, I did have to ask for money to then, you know, pay that. And then, you know, when I would get paid, I had all these bills and then I had to pay, you know, my dad back. It was a whole thing. It was a, it was a disaster. It was a mess. It was a disgusting mess. And first update I did after that was really hard because my mindset was really, really hard. If you have ever been so much in debt and then you literally tackled it like your life depended on it you feel guilty for every single purchase that you make after that point so i didn't travel i didn't indulge in self-care you know me i love my nails um i didn't buy stuff that i liked you know i like i like cute stuff like I bought this at Marshalls for like six bucks. So I I like I I like cute stuff, you know what I mean? And it was very hard for me to buy those things without absolutely just like internally hating myself for it. Because the buyer's remorse would be obscure because when you don't have money for gas and you don't have money for food and you don't have money for your bills, and then suddenly you have money. It's like you want to hold on to it like your life depends on it. So I would say even though I wasn't in debt, I also wasn't living, which isn't good because I did get out of debt. I did what I had to do. And so that's supposed to be the happy time, right? It's supposed to be the yay, we have money and we can experience life and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Nope, I was not doing anything none of it none of it okay and so yeah and also it turned out like covid was a thing so then i didn't really want to leave my house anyways to be honest with you but i still wasn't splurging or making my space into the space that i have now obviously you guys don't know what it looks like but it is a really girly space it is my space it is my happy spot so I thoroughly enjoy it and now doing this update I believe this is my second update if I'm not mistaken and I would say that I'm trying to think I have been out of debt for three years I believe um, but I started this cash budgeting situation before that off camera and I did that on my own trying to figure it out trying to just throw everything out my debt so this this year's update uh, I am happy to report because in my last update I, I remember I even said like I feel like I'm like you feel like you're not allowed to and you feel like you don't deserve to. That was the biggest problem is I felt like I deserved to do absolutely nothing because of how much I had royally screwed up my finances initially. And so you feel undeserving of absolutely everything and anything from the smallest of things like going to the movies or going to dinner. Like you just feel so undeserving. I can't ex like... I cannot explain it to you until you feel it, but I was very aggressive in how I tackled my debt because I did the Dave Ramsey steps and in that you throw everything. You basically survive off of rice and beans until you are done with the thing. So this year, I wanted to change the mindset of I don't deserve it because it's not cool, you know what I mean, to 
get out of debt and to be able to save as much as I've been able to save and to put in the work that I've been able to put in but still have absolutely no benefits from it is really depressing. It really is. It really takes a toll on you. And by no means am I saying that material things are a necessity, but I do think experiences are. I think at the end of the day, you know, you have a short amount of time and what you do with it really matters. And to me, I want to be able to say I traveled, I saw things, I went to concerts, I experienced, I I did all sorts of things because I was good with my money and I was responsible, I managed, I budgeted, I did the thing, right? So, 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 uh, this year I focused on allowing myself to be more deserving of what I have. So. I would say I am by far thriving more in this second update post it because I have learned that I come first and I am the first investment that matters, okay? Now, I am still very, I would say, I don't want to say I'm frugal, but I'm kind of frugal. Um, <laughs> so, I don't spend on unnecessary items like... I don't know, crazy like Louis Vuitton bags and heels, you know, and if that's your thing, that's cool too. But to me, it's not where I want my money to go. So I do, however, splurge on my nails. That to me is really important because it makes me feel like a confident queen. It makes me feel pretty. It just it makes me feel all the things I want to feel and should feel because I work really hard. I work really, really hard. And so if getting my nails done is going to make me happy, I'm going to get my nails done. And I know like people think it's a waste of money, you know, or it's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. I can afford it. I want them. I get them. Okay. Uh, in terms of material things, this year I have worked on shifting my mindset in terms of like what I buy, why I buy it, and how I buy it. So if it's a big purchase, I save up for it because 9 out of 10 times by the time I'm done saving up for this thing, I don't even want it anymore. Like I just completely forget about it. And when it's a smaller purchase, I ask, do I have space for it? Uh, will it serve me a purpose? And sometimes it doesn't serve me a purpose. I'm going to be honest with you. Like some, I buy, I buy Hello Kitty Squishmallows. You think those serve me a purpose? No, no, they don't. <laughs> but they look really cute on my bookshelf. So because I have so many, now I don't buy them as consistently. And now I only buy if it's, like special so for instance i love christmas christmas is my favorite time of the year and so i made an exception and told myself that if i found the christmas hello kitty plushes at five below that i would buy them because for the simple fact that again they're not year round they're special and it so happens to be for my favorite time of the year so I wanted to make sure I had one. <laughs> um, but other than that, I have really started to prioritize the material things that I buy and if I really like need them, you know? So I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. I've gotten rid of a lot of purses that I had and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I still have a lot of work to go through and so it's like little by little that I am trying to like clear out before I you know bring I'm trying to go for like lifelong staples now you know what I mean so if I'm buying a backpack for instance right I'm I want to buy a better quality backpack but that's going to be my one backpack and I'm getting rid of like the 10 other cheap backpacks I have so I am by far thriving a lot more. I will say when sometimes 
there's still a little bit of a, oof, I shouldn't have bought that after the fact. And so, like, I stopped just to, like, focus on my goals. I stopped giving myself personal spending money. And if I wanted something, it had to come out of my food budget. And that was really hard. <laughs> so, for this next year, I'm going to go back to giving myself some personal money. I'm just not going to give myself a whole lot. And I would say because I worked on really focusing on deciding how I buy things and why I buy things, now I won't buy a bunch of random stuff that's just going to accumulate. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And then I would say the last thing that you that I'm still kind of figuring out is I haven't been out of debt for a long time because obviously you have to build like your emergency fund and this fund and that fund and blah, 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 right? So I finally feel comfortable-ish in the amounts that I have saved for stuff, I would say, I am still going to be obviously really aggressive in 2024 because I would like to have more in some areas, but I am impressed with how far I've come. So we're still going to be just as aggressive. However, I would really like to figure out the whole investing thing. I tried my best this year, but to be honest, like it's a lot to take in it's a lot to figure out it's a lot it was also a lot to manage on top of trying to reach my savings goals because I was having to build an emergency fund a month ahead fund like I was I I needed stuff built because I felt so behind so it was really hard trying to do all of that so in this upcoming year and when we do our next update i want to now have more focus on investing because i feel like now i'm not as like scrambled with trying to save so that is a life after death update number two i hope i didn't miss anything uh, if you have questions definitely let me know I've been there, girl, or 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 dude, you know, whoever's watching. Um, but I have been there. I have been in a super deep hole where I couldn't see the end of it. I could have sworn to you that I really thought that my life was, that that was my life was just going to be debt and no money and basically just poor because I had nothing to my name and it was it was a lot it was a lot but but we are past it we've moved on from it uh i will say i also one last thing that i forgot because i was in credit card debt um that might be a separate video or we can just do like quick. Uh, so because I was in credit card debt, I didn't want to use credit cards. But, you know, every situation is different. No, you don't need a credit card or your credit to buy a house. You know, you can research it. It's a thing. It is a lot harder. Uh, there's different steps that just don't apply to me and my situation. So I always advise you to do your own financial research and not just go off of word of mouth but I do use credit cards now but I don't use them for mindless purchasing so I use my credit cards where I will put my bills on them and then it looks like I'm spending but I'm really not because I got to pay my bills right and then I will use my credit card for like gas or groceries because again those are those are envelopes that I possess that I have and so I just put the money back when I'm dead and that is it so I for sure like the fear of the credit card is gone but now I respect it for what it is it is a tool and nothing else whereas before 
that thing would like I'd slide that bad boy. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, you know, let me know where you are with your debt free journey and trying to get there. Let me know. Are you struggling? Are you with it? I am cheering you on. The pink squad is cheering you on because let me tell you, it is hard, but you can do it. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you too can be part of the pink squad. And guess what? We're going to be here tomorrow because it's pink Miss and there's a video every day. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a beautiful night. Bye guys.